everybody welcome to my channel thanks for dropping in my name is Cora video I have for you guys today is actually gonna be a four to five part series of portable strollers so I was in the market of getting a portable stroller that I plan on bringing with me on when we go on our family vacations hopefully soon with everything that's still going on right now but the stroller I was looking out to get is something portable compact that will go in the overhead bin in the airplane so i bought a few strollers that i wanted to compare against each other and since i decided to do that i've decided to go ahead and do a video and hopefully help out anybody out there that's also in the market of getting a portable stroller for travel so let's go ahead and get started this one right here is the baby trend trifold mini stroller and I bought this one off the Bye Bye Baby website, but you can also find it on Bed Bath & Beyond, Walmart, and Amazon. And this stroller popped out to me because of the purple. I didn't see many strollers that had this color, so obviously I had to go check it out. So I'll just go ahead and do an overview on it, and I will do close-ups just so that you can have a better look at the stroller. But this will just give a better overview to it. So it does have a canopy which is in the lavender and over down here with the five point harness, it does have the lavender straps here. This one is for babies that are six months and up and it goes up to supporting the weight of 45 pounds. The cushion on this seems pretty thick and over here at the footrest, there, you're able to adjust it and the way to adjust it, there are actually two buttons here on the side of the footrest. You have to press both of it and you can adjust it. And it clicks into each setting. So that's the lowest. And there's the other setting. And then it goes straight up. Let's see if it goes all the way. And it actually even curves as well. Like that. Go ahead and adjust that down, keep that straight. Also here in the back, it does recline, which I was actually looking for on one of the compact travel strollers, portable strollers, is a stroller that reclines. So the way it reclines is a system back here. This you can either, you can pull down and push the seating back. And that's at its, lowest setting. There you go. Lowest setting right there. And then to adjust it, to recline it, there's show it this way. As you can grab it, there's a little loop and you would push this contraption here and just push it up. And Obviously, you can adjust it to how high you want it to go. So right there is at its highest setting. And you can adjust it just by pulling this contraption down, which I'll do a close-up of later on. Here, back here, is the basket. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate and grab one of my diaper bags. This diaper bag is a pretty heavy diaper bag. It's my one that I would use for an all day outing. And it's actually really big. It's a big diaper bag. It won't fit in that basket. However, if I use this much smaller bag, backpack, this is a Jujube Mini B. This can actually fit in there with no problem. And it's actually easily accessible for this. You can just pull it right out. How the diaper bag looks on this stroller. I have my stroller strap here, which I will go ahead and put on. And then I'll grab my big chunky diaper bag, which is actually also a bit heavy. Put it on there. And I wanted to check out to see if it supports it in. It doesn't look like there's a problem on 
tipping on its own. Obviously right now there's no baby in there. So as of right now, it's, without the baby in there, it's pretty stable. However, if I give it a little bit more of a tug, it actually bounces right back. Of course, if you push it up a little, tip it a bit more, it goes down. There you go, yeah. So that is something that you would want to consider maybe changing your bag, your diaper bag, whatever you want to bring with you, just a little bit more minimalistic while you're going out with the stroller. So here are the lock brakes over here. And there are two little pedals. I don't know if you can see that. Push it this way. There are two pedals in the back. And actually, if you press one, it controls both pedals. So that is in the lock position by pressing the pedal down. It's in lock position. And then to unlock it, which I actually found a bit annoying, is you have, would have to push the pedal up which kind of hurts when you're wearing slippers. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the measurements, it being unfolded. So on the website, it is actually 33 inches in length, 19 inches in width, and 40 inches in height. So to start folding the stroller, there is a lever on top of the stroller handle and a button on the bottom part of the stroller handle. You would have to engage both to start the folding process on this, which I'm actually finding very difficult to do with one hand, two hands. It's a little bit easier. Um, it's kind of hard to fold as of right now. I'm assuming it's because it's a new stroller. Obviously, you see the tag still on it. Um, but with both hands, it's a little bit easier. So I would engage the lever, push the button. Let's do this again. So engage the lever, push the button, start pushing it in, and it should start folding on its own. And there you go. And it folds pretty small. It stands up on its own. And on the side here, there is a lock, kind of a locking mechanism where you would lock it into place. And there is a strap in here you're supposed to make it portable, but sometimes it can get lost there it is. in the stroller. I don't really care for this strap. It is too long for me. I mean, I'm only, again, I'm short, four foot nine. It is too long for me. So to open this, you can just set it down, obviously, unlock it. And then just kind of have to pull up on it. And I put my foot on the rest there and kind of knee it out. And there you go. And also as I wanted to show a comparison of what it looks like with my backpack with it closed. There you go. There you go. Close up with my backpack on the whip. And then supposedly this is supposed to fit in the overhead bin in an airplane. So I have obviously haven't tested that out yet. But a lot of the reviews I've read so far has 
said that it does fit on the overhead bin. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some close-up shots on it so you have a better view. So here's the close-up of the stroller. I love the purple on this. It's a very light pastel colored purple. Here are, is the five-point harness that also has the pastel color to it and it seems very padded. Seems pretty comfortable. This is how it locks here. Just kind of press that button and just pops open right there. And this one also attaches here and you can also detach that on the shoulder straps. My daughter is asleep right now so I can't test this out. Don't want to wake her up from her nap or else she gets cranky. In the back here I have, there is a peekaboo window which you can see in there. There is that lever I was talking about, the button underneath. Here is the back part of the stroller. There's a little contraption here. You can, you can pull that down to lower, to recline it down. And obviously you need two hands to pull that back up so that it will, you can incline it. And there is the basket and there is the pedals that I was talking about here. You have to press down. You can press down on either one, either of the pedals to engage its lock. But again, like I mentioned, to unengage the lock, you would have to push that up. Obviously, uncomfortable when you're wearing slippers, but with shoes, it might be, it won't be as bad. The handles are padded. And the pad here seems pretty comfortable. And those are the buttons I was talking about on both sides that would engage the footrest. Thank you for watching my video on the Baby Trend Trifold Mini Stroller. If you do have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you do want to check it out and are interested in the stroller, please check out my link below. I'll leave it, leave it out on the description box. So watch out for my next video that I'm going to put out on another compact travel stroller. Bye guys!